with Saddlebox, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly fit your hackamore to your horse. So I have a very simple training hackamore here. Um, this is really common, you know, people who trail ride, uh, maybe if you're colt starting, I use this a lot to put first rides on my horses. It's completely adjustable on the sides here and through the, thro the throat latch, as well as the bottom here, uh, the chin strap is adjustable as well. So I really like it. Um, it's again, quite common in colt starting or, you know, trail riding, or maybe if you just want a, a light style tack for your horse. Um, I really love this one. So the main thing I wanted to kind of focus on here was the nose placement of the, uh, the placement of the nose band, sorry. Um, this is one mistake I see a lot of people make is they will try to uh, let it rest right here, which is very wrong because it is number one way too far down obviously And you're putting pressure on a very sensitive part of their nose, uh, which can also be broken quite easily So you want it to be up high enough To where you have a bit more structure here and you are able to effectively uh, Steer them and they can feel that pressure a lot better um, It's you know similar placement to how we would place the nose band on a halter as well um, but in the same respect, you don't want it all the way up here, you know, by their eyes to where you don't have, it, it's always putting pressure on them. So they will be, you know, eventually become dull to you pulling back on this or steering because this is always going to apply pressure up here. See how it's very tight. So you want it in the middle of those two ideally like this to where it's not always applying pressure but it's up far enough to where this part is not going to be um, affected and as you can see let me put it on here correctly got her throat latch on okay so when i apply pressure with my fingers pulling back it engages and this doesn't have a whole lot of movement um, if it were to be down too low by her nose when i engage it See that? That is a big no-no. <laughs> you don't want it to be sliding around and everything and be uh, all over the place and applying pressure again where there's a very sensitive part of their nose right here. So you want it in the ideal spot. I could even go up a little further on this one. You want it in the ideal spot, again, in the middle to where when you put pressure, just like that, it engages in the right area. Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you basically the same thing except with a different styled uh, hackamore. This is a Bozal style. It's quite light compared to what um, a lot of Bozals are. But again, this is used for my colt training program. I use this probably on the daily. I love it. Um, it's super adjustable. All this is super adjustable to fit almost any horse. It has cotton split reins, or actually they're braided split reins right here. So because I can manipulate the throat latch here on this one, uh, it's just literally just string and you tie it where you see fit. Um, I don't have a lot of this action going on. Like when I pull back, it goes forward. See that? Um, I'm able to control it a lot better. Uh, most bozals probably don't have this uh, latch or this particular tie right here. Um, so you're not able to control that as much, but it's still really important to make sure, see how like the difference that just made? It's still really important to make sure when you engage that it's not sliding around uh, in the wrong areas. So uh, because I, again, have this throat latch here that I can adjust, um, it's really not a problem for me, but most bozals do not have that. So you have to really be careful of where you're um, putting it and making sure that you engage it before you go off and riding um, so it's not flopping around everywhere. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.